everybody, back out Bullion here. Now today's video is going to be a bit of an update on a whole host of different things. These are not usually the most popular videos I do on the channel here, but for those who've been A, following my work for a long time now, I know you get a lot of value out of listening to me ramble on about my life and our situation and what we're doing. Also, there's a lot of brand new people joining the channel right now. We've had a huge upsurge of new subscribers in this last couple of weeks, and I wanted to give a bit of an update on what to expect from us here on YouTube, also from our hand-pulled silver side of things, from the group orders, the huge, ridiculous unboxings that's going to be Brexit busting at this rate. It's going to be pretty epic. Silver forum products, European mint products, there's even a sneaky peek at some really cool kilo stuff at the end of this video. Woohoo! Kilos! And uh, we're going to actually have a whole video about those kilo bars tomorrow. So lots and lots to get through here today. If anybody has any questions or comments as we go throughout the video, please feel free to drop them down in the comments section. I will try my best to reply to everybody's comments. So, updates. Uh, there's loads to talk about, and uh, I do apologise, there's not going to be too much rhyme or reason to the order as which we talk about these updates. The first update is, uh, we've got the one-ounce backyard bullion bars. Here they are. So, 50 of these little one-ounce uh, little ingot bars. I really like these, they're very, very pretty. And we've got the all-inclusive 2019 year date stamp 1OZT backyard bullion logo. There is no better way than buying one of these bars if you wanted to support our channel, if you want to support everything we're doing hand-pulled silver-wise. For the very best prices, please feel free to drop me an email, byb at backyardbullion.com. They're listed up on my website right now. If you would like to go and purchase them, there's a link down in the description below. We've changed up this year. We've got individual certificates of authenticity printed for these one-ounce backyard bullion bars as well. As you can see there, the mintage is 50. This is serial number number one. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested, link's down in the description below. If you've got bars from a previous year, feel free to get in touch. And if those are still available, we can match different serial numbers between one and 50. First year I did these, I think I did 25 in 2017. 2018 we did 50, and this year again doing 50. Really like them, and it's a great way to support our channel. So if you're interested, link's down below. Now, that's just one of the many, many, many projects that I've been working on in terms of hand-poured silver, and I'm very, very happy and proud to reveal, this is the first look, I don't think I've shared this, any, any of this on social media at all, uh, the new European Mint 100 gram silver bars. So for those of you who maybe are new to the channel and you don't know, we have an ongoing existing relationship with the European Mint. They're a fantastic company based in Estonia, I've gone over there to Estonia to uh, meet them, to collect some silver and also just generally talk about the business relationship that we have as a silver pourer and person who needs lots of raw material silver and they're a brilliant company and I'm really happy that they've been wearing them down on this. I've been trying to get them to jump on board with uh, having some hand poured silver European mint style and they finally decided to give it a shot. So we've got here a really cool looking European mint stamp, which is this kind of Welsh style dragon. It's very Arthurian, very, uh, you know, sort of, you know, the Arthurian legend has that Eastern European feel and vibe in some of the, depending how you know about the, uh, the legends. And the European mint, uh, it's just a really great design. It's actually transposed a lot better onto the silver than I was expecting it to. It's actually not the worst stamp to use in the world either. It's really very cool. And I will be sharing a update on how we actually make these, the stamping of these at some point. Now we've got here four different shapes. So one of the things which is um, always challenging with any kind of product-based company that you that you might have is obviously keeping things fresh, keeping things new, and keeping things uh, you know, exciting for people. So, of course, we've got the European Mint logo here. That's new, that's fantastic, but it's also on different shapes, and that's not something we've done before. We've done rounds for the Silver Forum, but we've never really uh, you know, pushed the boat out and done triangular pieces or nice square pieces. So all of these are 100 gram minimum. What we're going to be doing with them is uh, creating a very limited run of them. So there's going to be 10 of each of these shapes to start with. Uh, well, so I should say that again, there's going to be 10 of these shapes each for the rest of 2019. That's it for 2019. We'll see which one is the most popular, which I think would be kind of a cool thing to see. I mean, I love the bar. You know, the bar is classic. Everybody loves 
a bar. There's no doubting that, but oh, for me, this triangle is just awesome. And it actually is pretty perfect in terms of the way that it's been uh, you know, fit on the bar here with the European Mint stamp just there. Nice leaf above it, 2019, and the, of course, the ever important hallmark down at the bottom. So it's guaranteed 999 silver. So these are pretty cool. Now, what we are doing with them, if you are involved in the group order, which is, of course, from the European Mint, you can purchase these at a discount, which is, I think, a really, really cool idea from the European Mint. You know, they, they do so much work for these group orders. Not a lot of companies out there would be so accommodating when you get somebody approaching them saying, yeah, by the way, can you just, uh, you know, set up a code and vault all of this silver and then, you know, send it all over in one big box, making sure there's no mistakes or errors, because if there are, you know, you'll be paying for this. And, you know, they've got all of these different uh, trials and tribulations around these group orders to manage, as well as delays from the European, uh, sorry, from the Royal Mint, delays from the Royal Mint coming the silver into Estonia in the first place. So they do a great job. And of course, with the uh, group order um, purchase of these particular shapes, you'll be supporting our efforts in that ridiculous unboxing. So there's definitely a cool opportunity there if you're already involved in the group order to get a little discount. But otherwise, if you would like to pre-order them, then you can. Those are also listed up on the website. As I said, there's only, only going to be 10 of each shape available. Um, so I'll try and keep the stock updated as best as possible on my website. Uh, but again, if you're interested, feel free to drop me an email directly, especially if you're a member of the group order and you've got an order in because there'll be a discount available on those. So uh, let's just crack on then with the next bit of update, which is on the group order itself. So whilst we've got these out talking about the European Mint, uh, so if there, is, there are some delays, which is rather frustrating. So. Um, basically, the European Mint is a bullion dealer. They have to buy their silver from the mints, and the Royal Mint has decided, in all of its wisdom, to delay various shipments. Once again, production, I don't know what it is. The European Mint uh, always has trouble with the Royal Mint. I don't know whether that's something that they need to work on with their relationship with the Royal Mint, but it just seems like the Royal Mint always holds things up for some of their newer coins. I have been informed that they are expecting a parcel to leave Estonia to us within the next couple of weeks. So there should be a giant unboxing. And for all of those of you who have been waiting very patiently for your items, that hopefully will come by the end of September. There is a final cutoff date though, uh, that we're imposing of the 22nd of September for any orders to be included before Brexit. I mean, Brexit, Schmexit, and who knows what's gonna happen by the end of October. Uh, who even knows what's going to happen by the end of this weekend, let alone the end of October. So we will review things as we go with regards to these group orders. But um, for now, the closing date is the 22nd. So if you are interested in getting some cheap, efficient price silver from Europe, now is the time. There's a link down in the description below to the thread on the Silver Forum where all of the information is about that. So that's kind of it for the Silver Forum group orders. Le next thing to talk about. So uh, last week when we revealed the 100 gram bars, which by the way, I need to say a huge thank you to all of you guys out there, especially those of you who are probably watching this far into the video. Uh, you guys are the hardcore supporters. A lot of you got in touch to look to purchase the 100 gram silver forum bars and we're really over the moon. They sold out within, well, within about 24 hours of that release date and uh, we had the pre-order season as well and it was just really very successful, so thank you. Now, we announced and revealed that we would be doing the three ounce rounds last week. Now, I want to make a little correction uh, to what I mentioned in the video last week. So in the video last week, I talked about the mintage of these rounds being reduced from 50 to 25. I want to issue a correction on that. We are going to do 50 once again. This is number 50 from 2018. Uh, we will be doing 50 of these again. If you have one with an existing serial number, you have a first right of refusal for the round of 2019. So uh, if you're interested and you've got one, let us know as soon as possible. The next thing we revealed, which was, uh, I, I mean, I suppose I need to start blowing my own trumpet a little bit more because uh, I knew these would be popular, but I didn't know quite how popular. I've had an overwhelming number of people get in touch about these and we have only put one little video out where it's featured right at the end of the video. So goodness knows what's gonna happen when we actually start properly promoting these. These are the flagship product for the Silver Forum of all time, in my opinion. These are the best things I've ever made. I will blow my own trumpet a little bit here. These five ounce hammered rounds are really, really cool. I absolutely love them and I'm really happy with the way they look. 
But you guys also think the same, and you've been inundating me with requests and messages about reserving them. We're only going to be doing 25 of them. I hope you guys can appreciate that it takes an awful long time to A, make five ounce, you know, 25 five ounce rounds, and then hammer them to death and stamp them and make sure they're all, you know, one individual chop for every letter here, hammering everything around, antiquing it, polishing it. It takes an awful long time. So we're only going to do 25, and we've already had an exorbitant number of expressions of interest. Whilst we're not collecting money at all or anything at the moment, we've had a lot of people say they're interested, and it's evident that we're going to have more interest than the mintage of 25. So we are going to uh, work out a fair way of doing that. You don't need to do anything right now. If you are interested in this, don't worry. You don't need to get in touch right now to make sure you get on the list. At some point, we will be working out a way to do a ballot or a lottery of people who are interested. So there is no better way to follow that than by following me over on the Silver Forum. If you are not what, if you've not joined the Silver Forum yet, long-term uh, sponsor of our channel, really great community. Go and join. Links down below. So that's what we're doing for the rest of the year. Now, in addition to all of these projects that we've got on. And believe me, there's a lot of work that still needs to be done on them. I've got to pour all of these three ounce rounds and all the rest of these hundred gram bars. It's, it's a lot. We've got loads of other stuff going on. Now, in terms of BYB stock, we've obviously got the 51 ounce bars. But I've had quite a lot of messages recently saying that my shop doesn't have an awful lot of stock in it right now. You know, there's a lot of, um, you know, there's obviously the big kind of pre-order items for Tetris sets and puzzle boards and things like that. But we don't have any in stock kind of fun stuff like we've had throughout the last couple of years. Well, good news, there is currently a batch of about 20 items up in Edinburgh right now, which are an eclectic mix of different molds that we've been doing ever since we started this whole journey. And uh, they will be coming back hopefully in another week or, to week or so. So perhaps in a couple of weeks we'll be all set for those. Um, what else do we want to update you on? Now, there's one other thing to talk about, the, the giveaway. I nearly said the bloody giveaway there. I really enjoy this giveaway. I am. It, it's, it's actually quite overwhelming. So if you are watching this far into the video and you haven't worked out yet that we are holding a giveaway, uh, the giveaway went live last week. We've had over a thousand entries to the giveaway. Now, I've done giveaways before, and when we did the 10,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, we had, I think, about 300 entries. So I was expecting maybe... Four, five hundred maximum, and we've had a thousand in week one. We're also marching on to sixteen thousand subscribers, which is uh, pretty mind-boggling. So, yeah, um, my original plan was to uh, basically copy and paste all of the comments out into an Excel spreadsheet, assign everybody a number, print it off, so we've got a big list of everybody's names and comments, and then draw a random number from random.org. I don't know whether that's going to be practical because we've got, as I said, over a thousand entries. Need to go through every single one, obviously, to verify that they're genuine and real and not duplicated and things like that. It's an awful lot of work. There is a simple, easy tool that you can use, which is a YouTube kind of comment chooser. It filters out duplicate uh, entries and things like that, so it's kind of a lot easier. But I also feel like I want to, A, stick with the rules that I originally put there. I can, of course, look to you know amend the rules. It's you know, a very different situation than I'd envisaged. But I want to try and honour the rules for another reason, is because you guys put so much effort into watching our content and looking at what we do. I think it's only right that we put the same amount of effort in at the other end to make everything enjoyable and fun and fair for everybody. So I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts on that. If you've got any thoughts on that kind of giveaway process and selection process for the prize, then let us know. The last thing to update you on is... Uh, kilos kilo plus bars we've got them back from edinburgh they've come back and in tomorrow's video you'll see that one be poured i'm not going to show it anymore well okay one more time look at it how cool is that i'm not going to show it again though because uh, you'll see it in its entirety and all its glory tomorrow in addition to that we've got something else which is pretty special it's a kilo cube oh yes now that's actually going to have some more stamping on. As soon as I finish filming this video, I'm going to go off and do some stamping on it. And that'll look a little bit different by the time you see it in tomorrow's video. But if you want to see those being poured and enjoy one kilo plus silver content, there is no better time to subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh, to the channel. So that's it. Lots covered today. I just want to say a personal thank you to anybody who has watched to the end of this video. 
If you have watched to the end of the video, let me know. I really, really like... like uh, there's a really great channel I watch called um, How Ridiculous. Some of you may know. They drop big stuff off big towers. They have what's called the 44 Club, the people who watch to the dire end of every single video. I'd love to know what you think we should call the same club of people for this channel. Because there are people who watch to the end of these videos and I would love to know your suggestions. So if you are one of those people who've watched right to the end here, let me know down in the comment section with your thoughts on a name for this club of people who like to listen to me waffle on for 10-15 minutes at a time. Otherwise, usual stuff, thank you for watching, thumbs up if you enjoyed today's update and waffle video. If you haven't already subscribed and you want to see videos from us in the future, hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, hit the alarm bell for notifications when those videos go live. Last thing to say is have a fantastic weekend. Thank you for watching and please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.